What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Pop the Video Games here, chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing in Warframe. Glorious Warframe! Alright, y'all, welcome to my theme, Warframe Builds. Alright, y'all, I take your favorite anime, superhero, villain, and I make a Warframe out of it. Now, today, we're talking about the Suicide Squads. Killer Croc! Yes, we're doing a Warframe build for Killer Croc. Now, let's be honest here, the picture really shows a different variation of his skin. Usually, Killer Croc is all green, but he has white, and he has some some type of a dark green mixture it really all depends on the lighting if you actually watch the suicide squad when the sun was out well in the scene where the sun was out it was showing that he had a whitish appearance but i can only use this one for copyright purposes but anyway now let's get into this i can't wait to check out killer croc he's a monster now apparently he was a wrestler who got changed to this by a genetic birth defect but this dude gained a tremendous strength and he's also a cannibal yeah. Now that we know about the monster that is Killer Croc, let's get into how to build them, shall we? Let's get into the color schemes. Alright y'all, now for him you're gonna have to buy the classic saturated color pack. And remember, his costume looks different with the lighting so it's hard to really tell, but this is the close you can get. Alright, now you wanna go with this color right here, kinda like a pinkish type. Now, you wanna also go with a type of dirty brown, look at the top of his head. You wanna really match that. Now, for the next color scheme, you wanna go with a brown. Now that brown is really what's gonna submit him. Now, you also wanna give some homage to the original Killer Croc. So, for his energy, you wanna have that green, as well as with the fourth columns, you have to have that green as well. It's just going to make the look go so much smoother. Believe me, guys, you'll see it at the end. Now, it's very hard to match particular colors, mainly because well, these colors just aren't available in Warframe. The once again, it's different types of lighting, so it is hard to match it 100%. But get as close as you can. Let's get into the mods now. Steel Charge. You want to throw that on him. He has tremendous strength. Of course, he's going to do more melee damage. Fast Reflection. I don't know if he has a good healing factor or not. I know lizards do. So he might have gotten a little bit from that. So just throw on Fast Reflection either way. All right. Now, next up, you also want to have on um, Vigor, Vitality, Redirection, and Steel Fiber. Now. Now, the thing about Killer Croc, his skin was extremely tough, so that's where redirection comes in. It was like a steel type of armor, that's where steel fiber comes in. The fact is, he could take more damage than the average person, so that's where vitality comes in as well. Vigor just boosts that. This dude was, remember, extremely tough. In order to lug around that type of weight, you have to have an tremendous amount of energy, so prime flow, and for him to keep doing that, you want to have a duration mod, so narrow mana and prime continuity will go for it as well. He was even able to tire out. Nightwing and Batman who are at the peak of human condition which shows how powerful he is all right y'all now we talked about the glorious mods it's time to get to the gameplay all right guys now I really liked how this turned out okay now this is why you put your energy as green when he turns on his iron shield the iron shield will turn into green and that matches killer crocs whole costume when he was in the darker parts of the film that's what people remember him more as in the lighter parts it wasn't that many in suicide squad to begin with so it's hard to really see the lighter parts of his costume that's why you put the energy as green as you see now there is some section that are you know still the i'll say pinkish but you also have a major part of it that's green and it also looks like scales as well it really matches killer croc's character guys i have a couple more warframe theme builds to do make sure to stay tuned for those put in the comments i want to hear what you guys have to say what is the next theme build you guys want me to do please this is a fan run series so any warframe you guys tell me i will do it now let's talk a little bit more about killer croc's character now once again he was a wrestler who had some type of mutation that gave him this ability so he actually is a mutant yes i know you're like wait a minute that's not dc but yeah he's actually a mutant i mean he was born with that metahumans usually get their ability through some type of freak accident he was born with it just like well superman's an alien so that doesn't count but anyway now the suicide squad dictates how a group of bad guys are going to now basically go on government missions to save the world the more they actually help the more time is taken off their jail sentence it's actually pretty cool all right guys now once again you guys have been an amazing audience make sure to check out suicide squad i'm actually going to check it out it really looks awesome all right peace out y'all and talk to you later